everyone I'm here today with Harry Potter book tag I've seen it on many channels before but recently I saw it on Katrina Reed's channel and I decided to do this tag as well because Harry Potter is my life <laughs> I don't know who originally created this tag I'm sorry I can't leave the link to it down below but I will leave the link down below to the Katrina Reed's channel she's amazing I love watching her videos now let's get started with the questions the first question is what is your favorite book my favorite book is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because I like how in this book Hermione chooses so many many lessons and how she deals with her homework and how she manages sometimes she, sometimes she doesn't manage and I like the whole mystery thing with Sirius Black that's really interesting as well so yeah it's my favorite book question number two what is your favorite movie I would say that my favorite film is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because in this film drama things and humor are like mixed together so it's a dark film another dark film as the all of the latest ones but it's also full of humor sometimes and I really really like it especially this new portion professor I love him his character in the film is just amazing he's my favorite he's my favorite from the film I just love him so much and the film is so much better with him as well so I think they found a the perfect actor for that but your least favorite book and movie my least favorite book would be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire I am not quite sure why but because I love all the books and I like all the films but if I had to choose my least favorite book that might be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire or Harry Potter and the Death Deathly Hallows. I'm not sure. I haven't read it for a while, the seventh book. So it's either the fourth one or the seventh one. Not quite sure. I love them both though. But my least favorite film is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Even though it's my favorite book, but the film is rather, not, not boring, but different, less actions than in the, in the book. It's just really really different in a bad way i still like the film i've watched it several times but i mean if i had to pick one of them i would pick up the third one because it's not the best one out of all the seven all the eight films and the fourth question is moments that made you cry dumbledore's death made me cry the most out of the book and the films because it is just that moment when I was reading the sixth book for the first time I was like almost heartbroken because I didn't expect that Snape would kill him I thought that he would he just betrayed everything and everyone and for me when Dumbledore died it felt like something huge was taking out and now that Harry hasn't got this support from that man he hasn't got anyone to rely on that much anyone who would help him as much and I felt like something major has happened something that's going to change a whole world now in the Harry Potter's world I mean it was it was just horrible for me I was I was crying out loud and I remember stopping reading it for several minutes because I was just crying and I could not stop crying. It was that tragic for me, that horrible. And also Dobby's death was really sad as well. I think I cried as well. Yeah, those two moments are the worst. And also Hedwig's death as well. I can't, when animals die in books, I can't handle it. I, I just can't. So it was really sad for me as well and I cried. The fifth question, if you could hook up with any of the characters, who would it be? I think I would get on with Neville the most because he seems to be very friendly, he's clumsy and awkward sometimes and not everyone likes him but I think I would get on really well with him. I like all of the characters who are like the main characters obviously 
but I think that I would be friends with Neville more than with anyone else. Favourite character? Hermione Granger. Yeah, she's my favourite character. I even started loving her in the books, I think, although I don't quite remember it. But when I saw the first film, I was so excited to see Hermione in the film for the very first time. And when I saw her, I was really pleased and then she continued to be my favourite character. She's really strong, independent, very clever, she's always finds ways, she's just, I like how she um, spends time reading, I like how she's very passionate about studying and things like that and how she's loyal to her friends. Oh, she's just amazing, she's just awesome, I love her the most. What would you Patronus be? On Pottermore, I took the test and it said that my Patronus would be Snowy Owl and I'm really happy with that because I love owls, especially snowy owls, but I was hoping that I would, my Patronus would be a cat because I love cats, but I'm still happy with the snowy owl because why not? What would you choose from Deathly Hallows? I would definitely choose the invisibility cloak because sometimes I feel like I want to do something like going for a walk or to do something when no one will be able to see me but there are always people around so it just would be nice to put it on, go somewhere where there are a lot of people and just enjoy. The ninth question, what's your house? I, again on Pottermore, I did a test and it turned out that I'm from Slytherin. I was really shocked at first and I was like, I don't want to be in Slytherin, but then I thought, why not? It doesn't mean everyone there is bad. I don't mind being in Slytherin, so yeah, Slytherin. If you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? Emma Watson, for sure. I really like her as an actress. I watch many films with her, not every single one that she's been in, but I've watched many films with her from what I can see from videos, from interviews, from films. I like her, so it would be really interesting to meet her in real life. I would be happy to do it. Have you ever played any Harry Potter video games? Yes, I have, but just one, and it was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm not a huge video game player. The only game I play is usually The Sims. And apart from that, I don't really play any games, so once I tried Harry Potter and the, Go um, and the Prisoner of Azkaban, I liked it, but then I was stuck at some point and I couldn't figure out how to do it, and yeah, I just stopped playing it, and I think it was like several years ago when I was in school, so yeah. But no, I think it would be awesome to play each game, I would just find it interesting. If you were on the Quidditch team, which position would you play? That's a difficult question because I'm not usually a sporty person. I don't do any sports. I would probably be a seeker or a keeper because I think it'd be fun to be a keeper actually. So yeah, a keeper. Question number 13, were you happy with the ending? Yes, I was happy with the ending. I was glad that not many people died. Um, and I was really happy that no one from the trio has died. I was happy about every single character, so I'm really happy with how the series ended. The next question was, what does Harry Potter mean to you? It means a lot to me. I started reading it when I was maybe 11 or 12, which was more than 10 years ago. <laughs> And I am 23 now and I still love it. I still want to reread it from time to time. I still like watching films. I'm still getting really excited when I get something related with Harry Potter, like Harry Potter shoes or Harry Potter t-shirt or anything like that. Even when we went to Lake Hawk, me and my husband went to Lake Hawk twice already and we're still planning to go there again. I was so excited to be in Hogwarts. I really loved it. It's amazing and I felt like I was a part of the Harry Potter's world. It was just awesome. Yeah, it means a lot to me. When I was a child, me and my cousin would play like I was Hermione, he was Harry. 
and it was just good as well. And also, um, I had a friend who introduced me to Harry Potter, and first, like, I was when the, all the hype was there, I was like, oh, I don't want to read it, I don't want to read it. Everyone keeps talking about it. But then she started reading the book, and she said that she really enjoyed it. And then I decided, okay, I'll try it. And I bought a book, and then I was hooked. And I, I fell in love with the series. I was almost expecting the letter from Hogwarts to come to me. So Harry Potter means a very, very, very much to me. It made me want to read more. Um, it, I, I don't know, it changed me in some ways. It's still one of my favorite things in the world and it's my number one series that I love. So it means a lot to me. Anything related to the Harry Potter world or books or series or anything like that. It's deeply in my heart and I think it always will be. That's it for the questions. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the Harry Potter, if you love it. If you want to do this tag and you haven't done it before and you love Harry Potter, you've been tagged. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!